friends, we are back with another song by Eminem. And which one are we doing today? Today we're doing River featuring Ed Sheeran. I think I know this. You do. So Anything. from what I remember, this was one of the only songs that you actually liked. When oh, I, really? When I played you the album. Yeah. Because I know he has songs with Ed Sheeran. There's a couple now. Yeah. So I'm like, I, know, I'm, I definitely know it. I just don't know which one it is. Yeah. I think. Yeah, from because I can't think of the word in any song. I can't think of where the word is used. The river. It's in the chorus. But either way, we'll listen, we'll break it down, and uh, yeah, see how you feel about it now. Yeah, I'm sure I'll still like it. Yeah. But this video is sponsored by Carnivore Snacks. Literally one of the best meat snacks ever. I love it so much. This is the Chuck one. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm about to have dinner, so I don't want to spoil my dinner. It <clears throat> is literally just dried meat with salt, and it melts in your mouth. It's crunchy. It tastes amazing. Like, I can't get over it. I've been eating them every day. He's had some, too. He likes it. Yeah. And he's kind of picky, so that's good. <laughs> and it's only two ingredients, like I said. It's all free range, and... You really can't get better than that. You can use our coupon code right here. It's with Smith for 15% off your order. And the link for that's in the description below. And I actually have some chomps today. But again, I ate a little bit of it before. But I'm not going to eat it right now because it's dinner time. But chomps is beef jerky. Don't get it confused with carnivore snacks. Carnivore snacks is like a dried meat snack. Chomps is beef jerky. And it's the best beef jerky I've ever had. It's super soft, super moist, grass-fed, free-range, only good for you ingredients, nothing you won't be able to understand or pronounce in the ingredients list. And you can use our coupon code for 10% off all orders and an additional 10% off subscriptions. And the link is in the description for that below. Also, use this coupon code for SeatGeek. SeatGeek's a ticket website where you get tickets for concerts, game, I always say games, um, sporting events. Whatever you want to go see, it's all going to be in ele electronic. You won't need a paper ticket, which is great because I always lose them. We actually used SeatGeek before we were sponsored by them, and it was a great experience, and I would definitely do it again. And you can use this coupon code for $20 off your very first purchase. The link for that's in the description below. Check out our Amazon storefront. Bunch of good things in there with some good sales on those items. Like and subscribe. Follow us on social media channels if you want to. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> right. Yes. Here we go. River. I've been a liar, been oh, a yeah. thief, okay. been a lover, been a cheat. All my sins need holy water, feel it washing over me. A oh, little one, I don't want to admit to something. If all it's going to cause is pain. Truth in my lies right now we're falling like the rain so let the river run He's coming home with his neck scratch to catch black Sweat jackets and dress slacks mismatch on his breast jack He's a sex addict and she just wants to exact revenge and get back It's a chess match She's on his back like a jetpack She's kept track of all his internet chats And guess who just happens to be moving on to the next Actually just shit on my last chick and she has what my ex lacks Cause she loves danger, psychopath And you don't fuck with no man's girl, even I know that But she's devised some plan to stab him in the back Knife in hand, says the relationship's hanging by a strand So she's been on the web lately Says maybe she'll be my Gwen Stacy The Spider-Man And I know she's using me to try to play him I don't care, hi Suzanne But I should've said hi Suzanne after the first night But tonight I am I've been a liar, been a thief Been a lover, been a cheat on my sins That part's so good, like the little breakdown that they have going on there mm, yeah. when the chorus kicks in again. Yeah, it's awesome. Yes, thanks. So you remember the song now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I It's not that I didn't remember it. I just didn't know if this was the song. I don't recall the word river being said in the chorus. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the beginning of the chorus. 
Yes, so the song starts off with Ed Sheeran doing the chorus, and the chorus is, I've been a liar, been a thief, been a lover, been a cheat, all my sins need holy water, feel it washing over me. So he wants to be better yes. from what he used to be. Yes, so it's interesting that it's, it's a, it, I mean, it's technically a biblical reference, like yeah. washing away the sins in the river. Like with holy water. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he literally says holy water, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it continues... Oh, little one, I don't want to admit to something. If all it's going to cause is pain, truth in my lies right now are falling like the rain, so let the river run. Okay. So do you know, do you recall this song? Like, do you know what he's referring to? Oh, I don't remember what the song's about, but I can see if mm -hmm. I can think of it. Um, so I don't know if I should describe it. So, I mean, little one, it's kind of obvious what he's a referring baby? to. A baby? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so, and then, so he's talking to... It sounds like directly to the little one. I I personally feel that the whole song is talking to this baby. Maybe it sounds like it. Now that you say bring it up. Yes. <laughs> and then, um, so I don't want to admit to something. And Paul's going to cause us pain. So like, oh, I don't want to hurt anybody. Yeah. The truth in my lies are flowing like the rain. So everything's just coming out. You know what I mean? Like it's just everything's out there. It's a mess. It's, you know, a shit show. All right. So then Eminem comes in. First verse, and he says he's coming home with his neck scratched to catch flack, sweat jackets and dress slacks mismatched. On his breath's jack, he's a sex addict, and she just wants to exact revenge and get back. So it sounds like he got in a fight with, I'm guessing, his ex-girlfriend maybe, or he's coming home because he was just sleeping with someone else. So, he's a sex addict. So if this is the first time you're hearing the song and you don't know the rest of the song, you necessarily wouldn't realize that the he that he's talking about is not him. It's, no, I know. He's talking about like someone. It's this, it's this girl. So the he, his girlfriend... That's the he. So, and then Eminem gets, so it becomes a lot, a, a love triangle. So the he is, is the girl guy. that Eminem is involved with. So Wait, we'll see. You're saying the he is the girl. Yeah, her boyfriend. Eminem, okay. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying that he's, <clears throat> I don't even know. I get it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so this guy's, he's cheating on his girlfriend. Um, Obviously, his clothes don't match. He reeks of alcohol. Yeah. He's addicted to sex. And now the girlfriend, she wants to get revenge on Naturally. him. Naturally. And then he continues. It's a chess match. She's on his back like a jetpack. It's a funny line, but you just wear it. Yeah, like strapped. Yes. Uh, she keeps track of all his internet chats. And guess who just happens to be moving on to the next? Actually, just shit on my last chick, and she has what my ex lacks. Which is like shit and X lax. Yeah, the the what is the it? Laxative. Laxative. Yeah. yeah. So the line where he says, "And guess who just happens to be moving on to the next?" So that's like, um, so Eminem is getting into it with this girl who yeah. is looking to get back at her boyfriend who's cheating on her, and then he's it saying, "Works out well." Yeah, and Eminem <laughs> just broke up with his last girlfriend, mm -hmm. so they are about to encounter each other. So it continues. Because she loves danger, psychopath, and you don't fuck with no man's girl. Even I know that. But she's devised some plan to stab him the, to stab him in the back, knife in hand, saying the relationship's hanging on by a strand. So I like that little scheme he does there. Yeah. So he's so Eminem's like, oh, I like this girl. She's crazy, but I like her, right? And he's like, oh, but she's in a you know I know that you don't mess with girls that are in relationships, right? But she's got this plan to cheat with Eminem, you know, on her boyfriend. And yeah. so stab him in the back and then knife in hand is the stab in the back. But then it also is the relationships hanging by a thread. So you could like cut, you could cut the thread. thread. Yeah. yeah. So it's a, it's a cool little hmm. scheme there. Yeah. And then he says, so she's been on the web lately, says maybe she'll be my Gwen Stacy to Spider-Man. Yeah, so, I noticed that, but I don't know who Gwen Stacy is. So in the comic books, it was Spider-Man's first like Girlfriend? Love, love interest. Yeah. I thought it was like Mary Jane or whatever her yeah, name so was. Yeah, so Gwen Stacy was first. Oh. So the girl's looking, obviously, to cheat. So she goes on the internet, which is the web, which is the first introduction oh, of the, okay. the Spider-Man scheme. 
And then it says maybe it should be Mike one Stacy. That's obviously the second. Like you know side piece. So the, like whatever. The love interest. He'll yeah. be yeah. But it's not the main girl. <clears throat> no, no. So I think in the right? earlier versions it is. Oh. I think. Okay. Um, I'm actually not positive, but I do think so. And then to spite her man. So it's a play yeah. on spite. Spider Man. Yes. Spite her man. Yes. And then he continues, and I know she's using me to try to play him. I don't care. Hi, Suzanne. But I should have said, bye, Suzanne, after the first night. But tonight I am. And then chorus. <clears throat> so, yeah. So he's saying he never should have gotten involved with her. Mm-hmm. And even when he did meet her, he should have broke it off. But he's saying that tonight he is going to be breaking it off. Okay. And then, yeah, we get we'll to the. We'll see if you do that. <laughs> yeah. So we get into the chorus, and that's where we left off. Truth in my life Now I'm falling like the rain So let the river run My nightstand Turn it to nightstand It was called some lights grand Now we hunt tight and He found out Now she feels deserted and used Cause he left So what he did at first to her too Now how am I supposed to tell this girl that we're through It's hard to find the words I'm aloof Nervous and suit up when it's too hurt But what you deserve is the truth Don't take it personal I just can't say this in person to you so I revert to the studio like coal in the wall diners Don't have to be reserved in a booth I just feel like the person who I'm turning into Irreversible, I prayed on you like it's church at the pew And now that I got you, I don't want you Took advantage of my thirst to pursue Why do I do this dirt that I do? Get on my soapbox and preach my sermon and speech Detergent and bleach is burning the womb Cause now with her in the womb We can't bring her in this world to the new To use protection for I'm pitted to your forbidden I've fruit been Fuck! I've been a liar, been a thief Been a lover Cheat on my sins, need holy water, feel it washing over me. Well, little one, I don't want to admit to something. The fool is gonna cause his pain. The truth in my life, now I'm falling like the rain. So let the river run. So the lyrics are actually very messed up in a few spots. Oh, really? Yeah, a couple. It's like okay. not very messed up. There's a few words that are messed up, though. Okay. So Eminem comes in. I think I should probably just read off my phone so I don't get confused because every time this happens, I'm like reading that and this and I get messed up. So <clears throat> he comes in the second verse and it's a one night stand turned a two night stand. So what was supposed to only be one night is now um, it's prolonging. It's, and it's a play on it goes from a one night stand to them having two night stands. So like they're like a couple, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like they're together. Cool. Yeah, it's a cool little play on that. It's pretty cool. Um, and then he says it was come sunlight scram. So meaning as soon as yeah, the like, morning broke, you split up. Which is interesting because it's like usually, I feel like nowadays people just leave before could be yeah bedtime even. And then he says now we hug tight and he found out now she feels deserted and used. Because he left, so what? He did it first to her, too. Which is so fucked up. Like, why is it okay for you to do it? Yeah, I know. But then when she does it, it's like, oh, I got to leave you. Yeah. It's like you were just doing it, too. Yeah. Yes. So like You shouldn't be together at all because that makes no sense. Of course. Unless you're into that kind of thing. I don't know. People do it. Yes. So what Eminem is saying is that he got involved with this girl because she was broken up with her boyfriend or whatever, cheating on her boyfriend, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. And now- Well, he was cheating on her. Yeah. So she was like, I got to cheat on him too. Yeah. So then that boyfriend found out that she was cheating and now he's breaking up with her, mm-hmm. right? And then Eminem is like, fuck, I'm supposed to be breaking up with her too right now. And then we find out a little later that it's even more complicated. Uh-huh. Um, so then he says, now how, now how am I supposed to tell this girl that we're through? Ahead here. It's hard to find the words. I'm aloof, nervous, and Sue, which is her name. That's Suzanne. Yeah. So he says, and Sue, don't want this to hurt, but what you deserve is the truth. Don't take it personal. I just can't stay this person. I can't say, say this in, in person, person to, to you. you? Yes. What is he texting I'm her? Stumbling. Oh yeah, that I didn't even think about that. I just can't or... say this in person. Oh no, no, sorry. It's the song. The song is it. Oh, okay. You'll see in the next line. Okay. I just can't say this in person to you. So I revert to the studio like hole-in-the-wall diners don't have to be reserved in a booth. So 
It's a little play on um, like how you need to reserve a studio when you want to like record a song in like a, you know, like a professional studio, whatever. So, yeah. So the so the hole in the wall diners, you don't need reservations for. Right. No. So it's a hole in the wall. You can just go in there. And then he says, so he reverts the studio like you would a hole in the wall diner. You don't have to be reserved in the booth. So yeah. the booth where you record the rhymes, obviously, and then the booth in the diner. Um, and then he says, I just, oh, God, my phone's fucking like turning. He says, I just feel like the person who I'm turning into is irreversible. I prayed on you like it's church at the pew. So he's so like, he's talking about like the. Um, saying he prayed on you, like, because you put your knees on the thing, right? On the pew. So you're technically praying on it. Yes. And then he means pray the other way, like predator. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, oh, you know, he knew she was vulnerable, whatever. Um, then he continues, and now that I got you, I don't want you. Took advantage in my thirst to pursue. Why do I do this dirt that I do? So he's continuing the scheme. I don't know if they can... Our My dog's, dog's barking. like barking and losing her mind. So let me see if someone's at the door. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, or just us. <laughs> Interesting. Someone's at the door, or will be at the door in like a minute. Yes. Um. So yes, it continues. Uh, he's saying that. Oh, I took advantage of you because I was thirsty, and he's like, "Why do I do this? You know, like I knew this was wrong. I shouldn't have done it." Then he continues, "Get on my soapbox and preach my sermon and speech. Detergent and bleach is burning the wound." Because now with her in the womb, we can't bring her in this world, should have knew, to use protection for a bit into your forbidden fruit. Fuck. And you got her pregnant. So, yes. Yeah, so, he's, he's, so, he's the long uh, scene before. He's like, oh, why do I do this dirt that I do? Mm -hmm. And then he goes from dirt to soapbox, right? Yeah. And then the soapbox is like you would stand on in like the town, you know, and, and preach. Yeah. And then he's like, detergent and bleach is burning the wound. So like it's it's cleaning it out. But it also sounds like the detergent and bleach might be a play on like um like a home abortion. Yeah. Oh God. And then he says, because now with her in the womb, we can't bring her in this world. So she's pregnant. And then he's saying, Why didn't I wear a condom before we had sex? You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Mm. Where are we? Okay, so we heard this chorus, so there is going to be a little bridge. I may have to get up in a minute. Probably not. <laughs> so, it's fine. All right, let's see. Luna! <laughs> Stop! So let the river run. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Hey, what can I say? If life was a highway, the seat was an enclave, I'd be swerving in five lanes. Speed to the high rate, like I'm sliding on ice, maybe. That's why I made it came at you sideways. I can't keep my lies straight. What I made you terminate, my baby. This love triangle left us in a rectangle. What else can I say? It was fun for a while. Bet I really would have loved your smile. Didn't really want to upboard, but fuck it, what's one more lie to tell an unborn child? Being a lover, been a cheat Oh, my sins need holy water Feel it washing over me oh, Little one, I don't want to admit to something If up. all it's gonna cause is pain The truth in my lies Now we're falling like the rain So let the river run Okay Sorry if you can still hear her barking I don't know if you can, Mo Hey, it's just the same thing <laughs> Here, let Someone's hard door though, so I'll take the bar. Okay. So he goes, My name's Ooh, my name's Ooh, Denver, Ooh, River Run. Call me River. We'll let the river run. Hmm. So this is where we were. Um hmm. I'm not really sure what this is about. Let's find out. No, we wait for James to come back. So it doesn't look like he actually says Denver, so that can't be right. So that's a mistake, and now then this is just saying my name's River Run. What does this mean? Why is his name River Run? 
Who's River Run? Do I don't you know. River Run? I'm so confused. That's very funny. Okay, yeah. This, like I said before, the lyrics were... Just, my name's Denver. I don't know. <laughs> You know, I wasn't, because I was so distracted, I wasn't paying attention to what the screen was saying. I was really just listening. So it says, my name's, oh, my name's, oh, River. River Run, call me, call me. It's just like a oh, mashup of the chorus, right? Yeah. So I read it on here first, and I was like, what the hell does this mean? Like, talking like Denver. So, yeah. so it's, no, so he's saying, my name's River. He's not saying Denver at all. I don't know. No, he's not. I don't um, know why they thought that. So I think that he's saying that like he's getting the truth out Eminem you know what I mean so like maybe he kind of is representing the river like cleansing you know what I mean and like just which (laughs) the cleansing could also have to do with the abortion do you know what I mean like the river running so you mean like the river like a Mm. lot could be be. that I'm I don't know for sure that that's that's a thing but anyway let's okay so yeah it's just call me my name so it's Eminem and Ed Sheeran on that part so, again, I'm going to read from my phone because these lyrics are a little messed up here. So Eminem comes in third verse. He says, always the bridesmaid, never the bride, hey. So It's like a frequent term that um, is used with women, especially in their 20s, early 30s. If, like, they're just constantly going to a bunch of weddings, but, like, either don't have a boyfriend or he's not proposing. Well, yeah, they're the one. They're never the ones getting married. Yeah. They're always bridesmaids, yeah. At other people's weddings. Yeah. And then he says, fuck can I say, if life was a highway and deceit was an enclave, I'd be swerving in five lanes, speeds at a high rate, like I'm sliding on ice, maybe. That's why I may have came at you sideways. I can't keep my lives straight. It's a good scheme Mm. there, like a little speeding, swerving scheme. Yes. So he says, if life is so, life is a highway, that song, life is a highway, I'm going to write it all (laughs) night. So this is an interesting part. So the actual lyric is deceit is an enclave, but he is saying it in a way to make it sound like the seat is an enclave, right? Then he says, so if life is a highway and deceit's an enclave, I'd be swerving in five lanes. So it sounds like he's just going to be constantly uh, lying. Do you get what I mean? Because he's saying, okay, life is a highway and deceit is an enclave. So if he's swerving across the five lanes, I interpret that as him going to the enclave. To the enclave, yeah. yeah. That's what it sounds like. So he's just like constantly lying and whatever, uh-huh. cheating, whatever it is. And then he continues the, okay, so the highway seat, but it's really deceit, yes. D-E-C-I-E-T, right? Is that yeah, like being it? deceitful, like not being truthful. Yeah, I didn't know how to spell it You're though. Like covering up the shit that you do. Yeah. And then just swerving in five lanes, so the lanes, and then speeds at a high rate, like I'm sliding on ice, maybe. So he's- Maybe. Yes, so he's sliding. So then the sliding on ice, that's why I may have came at you sideways. So that's funny because he's sliding. Yeah, skidding. And then he does the sideways because I can't keep my life straight. So it's not straight. It's sideways. Yes. So it's a cool, Which is good. Yeah, it's a cool little uh, scheme there. Oh, hi, Mitchie. Then he continues. Um, but I made you terminate my baby. This love triangle left us in a wreck, tangled. What else can I say? It was fun for a while. Bet I really would have loved your smile. Didn't really want to abort, but fuck it. What's one more lie to tell our unborn child? So. That's sad. Yeah. So he's saying, I made you terminate my baby. And then he broke up with her too, which is wild. But so this is another cool little thing. This love triangle left us in a rectangle. (laughs) So rectangle, the shape. And then. Because you have a baby now in the mix right oh i didn't even think about that so no it's no longer three people involved it's four no i never caught that but you're right no because what did you think what did it mean to you this love triangle left us in a wreck tangled i just oh wreck tangled i didn't i didn't even think about the fourth person you're right that's yeah. exactly part of it i only caught half of it nice um so yes you're right because it's four people but yeah it was the obviously shaped play of triangle then wreck tangled sounds like rectangle yeah. Um, and then, yeah, he says, it was fun for a while, but I really would have loved your smile. So that that line makes me think that this whole song is talking to the unborn child. Do you get what I mean? Oh, because, like, well, I made you terminate. Like, That's the baby true. terminate itself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah, I, now I don't know the way he said that. But, yeah, I bet I really would have loved your smile. I don't know. I It's not necessarily important. It could just be a song. And then this line, he's talking to the baby. 
And then, yeah, he's saying he didn't want to have to do it. And then he says, but what's one more lie to tell an unborn child? I mean, like, oh, it can lie about this, whatever. It doesn't matter, you know, especially because it's unborn and it was aborted. And then it goes back into the chorus and... That's it. That's it, yes. Um, Is this a true story? So I was going to say, Eminem did... He alluded to the fact that this may be true. He's like, oh, this is something I just really had to get off my chest. He said something to that effect. Interesting. So it's either completely true or partially true based on something similar that happened to him or whatever. That's very interesting. Yes. So hmm. what are your thoughts on the river? So I never really paid attention to like much of the meaning of this song or like what it was really saying. I was really just listening to the chorus when he first showed it to me. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is really good. Yeah. But yeah, it's like very deep and has like a pretty intense meaning and a lot going on. And it's the music is great. The chorus is incredible. And a lot of his one-liners are really great, like the rectangles and then like that other one. Yeah. There were a few. I can't remember them all, but this is really good. The song's really good. I would say I definitely like it a lot. I'd say it's one of, from what I remember and from what I know, probably one of my most liked songs on this album. Yeah, for sure. I, I like Ed Sheeran. A lot of people shit on them. Eminem and Ed Sheeran's collabs. I like them. I think they're good. I think they work well together. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, the song is, it's obviously serious. It's about this affair kind of, and then the woman then gets abortion. pregnant, get an abortion cause he doesn't really want to be with her. Mm -hmm. And then he's also acknowledging that he kind of screwed the girl over too, because he never really wanted to be with her. And then she lost her boyfriend over it. So it's like this really a keeper in the first place. No, that's very true. It's just, uh, off. it's interesting, you know, from. It's an interesting song from that perspective. I'm trying to think if there's another song like that, where you're like the third person in the love triangle. I guess, yeah, you hear songs about people like, oh, leave your man or your woman. Do you know what I mean? I guess you hear that from that perspective, but it's like it was just unique. But yeah, it's. I think it's great. It's Yeah, it was really good. It sounds good. It's obviously heavy. There is a music video for it. Oh, really? Yeah, you get a little more background on the people. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, definitely check out Carnivore Snacks, Chomp, Seek Geek, our Amazon storefront. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Nice to see you. Bye. Bye.